YouTube, team keep it clean. EDC, talk to me, man. Talk to me. I know you've been listening. You you got Lacey out here. She be on Twitter. She sees everything that be going on and be being said about the Ravens, about EDC, about the way that they do things. And the Ravens is stepping out. They stepping out. And they brought back Z. This doesn't completely right the wrong. He should have never left. If we being real, he should have never left. But that's the past. So we're moving forward now. But the Ravens. On the first official day of free agency, the very first start of the new league year. <laughs> oh, you got a Dafia way over here. You got Zadarius Smith over here. And there's more, but wait, there's more. There's more. But let's get started. So the Ravens have agreed to a four year, $35 million deal with Zadarius Smith. This averages 8.7, 8, I can't even talk right now, 8.7 mil per year, 8.75 mil per year. So a little under 9 mil per year, and you get a proven pass rusher who you groomed, who you drafted, who you brought up, and now you brought him back. Welcome back, Zadarius Smith. See, this was one of those moves that... And I, it's in the videos. You can go back and watch it for yourself. I like the idea of it. I like the thought of it. But I just did not think that it would happen. I didn't think it would go down. I did not think this would be a deal that would get done. Reason being, because I felt like, man, I'm not sure exactly what the pass, the pass rusher market is right now. I, I don't know exactly where it's set. But I just feel like with Zadarius Smith... Yeah, he got released from the Packers. He had the bad back last year for the majority of the year. Then he came back in the playoffs and ended up getting a sack. But I felt like with Zadarius Smith, like, yeah, he may be interested in the Ravens. He's been putting all this stuff that he was in Baltimore and all that stuff. And that's cool. Yeah, a lot of players do that. They flirt with, they flirt with like, social media, and they flirt with the teams via social media. They flirt with the fans like, oh, look where I'm at. I'm in Baltimore. Ha <laughs> Don't you think that I'm going to get signed here? But I just didn't think anything was going to go down because I felt like he was going to be able to get – a better, bigger offer from another team, and it was not going to be from the Ravens. But EDC said, what? He said, what? He said, man, I, I'm, I'm tired of sitting here having dinner, and my wife got to tell me that all the, the, the garbage that Ravens fans keep saying. I'm tired of sitting here and looking at my burner account on Twitter and seeing all this garbage that Ravens fans are saying. And even though they, they had a lot of reason to say some of the things that they said, nothing disrespectful, none of the disrespectful stuff was warranted, none of that. You throw all that out the window. But all the stuff about as far as the Ravens needed to step out of their comfort zone, yeah, that, yeah. As far as the Ravens being cheap when it came to signing outside free agents. With their own, they take care of their own, but signing outside, bringing in outside guys, bringing in outside proven guys. They needed to step out of the comfort zone. Now, this is big, a big money deal. Another big money deal for a defensive player. And it ain't even the biggest of the big money, but it is significant money to the defensive side of the ball. That is something to think about. I'm not trying to burst anybody's bubble. I'm not trying to kill anybody's vibe. But I'm just saying. Just something to watch out for. As we continue to wait, what are the Ravens going to do at center? But that's a whole other conversation for a whole other video. Which, uh, by, by the way things have been going, we'll probably be making a video about the Ravens getting their center either tonight or early tomorrow. By the rate that things are going. So, the Ravens. This makes everything e that much easier for them heading into the draft. Not saying that you can't still get a pass rusher, but when you think about it, you have a pass rush, a significant pass rusher in Zadarius Smith. You have a Dafe away. He finished the season. He was banged up at the end of the season. But he'll be back. You got Tyus Bowser. Now, we don't know when he'll be back. I got to assume that he'll be out for at least the first six weeks. Hopefully, he can come back faster. You know, go to Cam Akers' doctor or something. Then you got the forgotten man, the forgotten man, the fifth round pick, Dalen Dip Hayes. So you still got him, and he looked good, man. Again, that, that dip, we ain't really get to see him in the regular season, only for that, that one game, I think, against the Lions. Then he got hurt, and then that was it. So I just, this, this is exciting because the Ravens are taking care of stuff. They're taking care of stuff. 
They're taking care of areas of weakness. Um, they're, they're really trying to get stronger. And, and that's what you got to do. And they really want to go into April. They really want to go into the end of April when it's draft time, really doing BPA. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and this is Dave. Uh, Josina Anderson even said the Ravens are interested in Michael Pierce coming back. So they, they want to bring all the gang back together. They want to bring all them boys back. But um, this is a, a nice start. And again, w- when we signed Marcus Williams, when Ravens signed Marcus Williams, we were happy about the move. We were excited about the move. It was Ravens going out of their comfort zone. But I said, no, 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 no. That can't be it. The cannon, it won't be. Then they went out and they signed Morgan Moses. It's like, oh, they went and got a right tackle. Okay, okay. But I said, that's nice, but no, nah, you know they're not done. Then they go out and sign Darius Smith. Ooh, where all this money coming from? It's there. The money's there. The money's all. If you want somebody, the money is always there. Again, the Saints, they did not release anybody and they cleared $80 million in cap space. $80 million, and they didn't release a soul. $80 million in cap space, they moved. Cap is cap. Anyway, if you want somebody, there's always a way to do it. I don't ever want to hear, oh, we can't afford this. Oh, we can't get this guy. Oh, we can't. No, 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 no. This is a clear example that it can be done. If you want it to be done, it can be done. Ravens, EDC. He called himself out. He said, hey, but he called himself out on the offensive line. He said, that's on me. That's my fault. But he, he said, right now, he's letting everybody know. He's saying, oh, all this other stuff, though? Oh, that ain't got nothing to do with me because I'm getting this thing right. A center's up next. You got to feel like a center's up next. Let's see what happens with Pat Ricard and whatnot, and then maybe Anthony Averitt. I don't know. But you got to feel like the next major move for the Ravens has got to be a center. And we keep hearing all these stuff and seeing all these this news drop about this center got signed, that center got signed, that center got signed, that center got signed. But then we look around and we say, hold up. Where's Bradley Bozeman? He, what? he ain't get picked up yet. And I just keep getting surprised because I was dead wrong about his mark. I, I figured Bradley Bozeman, within the first day, he would have been out of there. He would have been gone. That would have been it. But there has been nothing yet. Nothing. We have not heard a peep. We haven't even heard about anybody being interested in Bradley Bozeman. Now, this does not mean that nobody's interested in Bradley Bozeman. It just means that we ain't heard about it. Well, the only person we heard about being interested in Bradley Bozeman, for sure, is the Ravens. So we know that interest was always there. So maybe his value could be dropping by the minute because all these other centers keep getting signed. And they can, they're not getting signed. Well, some of them are. Jason Kelsey got the one-year $14 million deal. But a lot of these centers are not being signed to no crazy deals. They're really not. So we'll see what happened. We'll see what goes down next. But so far, so good. EDC said, EDC is a troll. Straight up. EDC, you are a troll. The reason you're a troll, because you waited. You wait, and you know how Ravens fans get. You know how we get. We are very impatient. Ravens fans are very impatient. But I mean, that's fans of every single team. But Ravens fans are very impatient, even though we know how the Ravens get down. So a lot of people was out there tripping on that first day of free agency like, man, what's going on, man? Ravens sitting on their hands, man. Ravens ain't doing nothing, man. What's going on? He knew, he knew what he was doing. He knew because you know EDC be listening. You know he hears all of that stuff. Because Ravens are a team, they listen. They listen, they listen to what people are saying. And that can work in a good and a bad way, but the Ravens listen to everything that people say. And we know that you heard us. Team Keep It Clean. Like Zadarius Smith was once before, but like he is no longer when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens, we out.